Welcome back to the Nurturing Coach channel. Today we are going to be looking at how do you help someone who is affected by narcissistic abuse. so hard to watch someone you love being abused particularly by narcissistic abuse because they're probably feeling like no one else does believe them and at times they question themselves as well because because of the way the narcissist has that push pull they could be nice but then that they only are nice to create something or they're nice in public it really does make the victim question themselves and the gaslighting makes the victim feel like they're the crazy one. And to watch the person that you love defend the abuser is so, so difficult. So how do you help them? Well, I suppose one of the hardest things is the ethical and moral dilemma of do you involve other people? Particularly when there's children involved, do you phone social services or child protective services when you suspect that abuse is happening or the police or and I'm not here to tell you what the right or the wrong thing is to do I'm just going to talk about the potentials for that so on the one hand yes getting other people involved might may shine a light on it it may uh, be the trigger that encourages the victim to Take a stand, it also shows the narcissist that you're serious, you, you know who they are, you know what they're doing. Fortunately, on the flip side, if the victim is so under their spell or so scared of the consequences of what the narcissist may do, they might, may defend them to other people and then cut you out. So then you have no way of supporting this person. So... My advice always in the first instance, instance would be to keep being there for the person that you care about. Just keep boosting their confidence. Keep telling them that you believe them, but don't put pressure on them to leave. Don't put pressure on them to even hate them. I made that mistake myself. I felt like I was hammering home all the time. They're abusive, they're this, they're doing that. They don't. And actually what that did is it just lowered the person's self-esteem even more. Um, so if I had my time again, I would definitely just keep loving them, keep telling them that I'm here for them. Whatever they decide, I support them. Just stand by their side 100% because that is what the narcissist hates. That unconditional love that you can give is what the narcissist will battle against. And if if you're there saying all these awful things about the narcissist and the narcissist is there saying all the awful things about you, ultimately the victim is going to be made to choose between you and the narcissist has more power, especially if there's children involved. And so they will cut you out or they'll certainly choose, even if they know deep down that you're right, they're going to side with the narcissist and like I say, then they're alone. So the best thing to do always is to try and keep in their life, try and keep as close to them as possible. Um, I wouldn't necessarily confront the narcissist either. I would have nothing to do with the narcissist. If they friend request you or anything, no, 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 don't accept it. Just be very clear on that. Do everything you can to try and take the pressure off the person in that in that situation so if you're a parent and it's your child that's being abused an adult child so um and you, you don't know what to do you obviously have the option you can involve other people you can talk to other people you can go to um, services but the risk of that is like i say they will close rank they will deny it and then they will cut you out because the narcissist will say that you're problematic, you're coming between them. And the narcissist probably been saying all those things about you and you'll have proved it, even though you've done it for all the right reasons. And the other thing, I suppose, is that the narcissist takes control of every situation. So by you wading in in that way, you're kind of not empowering 
the person to take that action themselves. You're you're doing something that the narcissist does, which is I'm taking action on your behalf. So in order to really empower the person you love to leave, to do put their own wants and needs first, you have to show them that. You have to give them that. You have to give them that unconditional love in order for them to really feel that they're worthy of better, that they deserve it. And every time that you're saying, why are you still with them? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Why are you putting up with that? How do you think that person feels? They're not going to feel love. They're going to feel, even though they'll, they'll know you're doing it for the right reasons, they're still going to feel attacked and they're going to feel like, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. No wonder, no wonder I'm being abused because I'm all of those things that the narcissist is causing me. So that's it. That's my best advice for you. It's what I wish I'd done myself. If I went back in time, that's what I'd do. I would just keep loving them with all of my heart, stronger and harder and showing them that I believe in them, I trust them, and whatever they decide, I'm not going anywhere. Because that's another part of people that are abused by this is that fear of abandonment, that fear of being alone, because again, that's hammered in. They've probably got their own childhood wounds around that, but also that's uh, something that's used by the narcissist is that, well, well, without me, you'd be on your own and no one will believe you. You'll, you'll be lonely and miserable. You'll always end up with no one. No one will ever love you again. And so by being there for them and showing them consistency that you are always there, you're not judging them, you're not criticising them, you're just loving them that is the best thing you can do for them because it's that love that will enable them and empower them to make the tough decisions that they need to make you can't make the decisions for them you can't force them to do things even though it seems blatantly obvious to you what's happening remember that they're in that and when you're in it yeah, there's part of your brain that knows it, but there's the other part of you, that that child in you that is terrified that they're right. They're tapped into your insecurities and they are throwing them at you, so you kind of believe what they're saying. And so, like I say, for you, the best thing I can advise you to do is just keep loving them. It is hard. It's and make sure that's the other thing as well make sure you've got support outside make sure you can talk to someone that isn't involved and you can go to them and say look this is really hard this is what i'm trying to do then to keep yourself strong keep loving yourself make sure that you're not carrying that burden because again that's something i did i took on board all of that pain and i struggled and i was less able to support them so you make sure that you are staying strong that you're getting that support to to support your friend your daughter your son your grandchildren your partner whoever it is that you're you have someone outside to support you so to give you the strength so that you don't take it all on and stay out of it stay out of it as much as you can because one it will turn on you it will it will come on you and and then you can't help but equally you'll be you'll be pushed out you'll be pushed out and then there's no help you can give whatsoever like i said one of the most difficult parts um seeing someone go through this but all you can really do is what i've said love them keep loving them and supporting them if you've got any questions, please do pop them below. If this video has been helpful, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't had a chance already, please do click the subscribe button. I really do appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time to watch my videos, shares them, comments, likes and subscribes. I will just want to help people by raising awareness of what happens, providing you with some of the things that I wish I'd known when I was going through it. And so by your engagement with that, you're really helping me to keep doing it, but also get the message out there as well to help all the victims. So thank you. Take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.